Hi guys, Cable here from Live to Play. Today is my great pleasure to have Chaz DePaula with us, and I got to tell you something. I go out looking for artists with different stories and interesting stories, and I think with Chaz, you're going to be really interested to hear this one. Chaz, welcome. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Chaz is from Corning, New Jersey, and he is a contemporary blues fusion artist. But I think when we start with his history, you're going to understand that this is not the typical blues fusion artist. Chaz, for our readers that are not familiar with your act, maybe perhaps on the West Coast or what have you, tell us a little bit about your act. Uh, it's pretty high energy. Um, the songs uh, that I write are about personal experiences in my life. Um, my, my first full-length blues record, Flirting with the Blues, is actually written about my battle with depression and alcoholism. Um, song Sunday Morning Blues and Flirting with the Blues. And uh, my last CD, uh, Bluestopia, has uh, several songs about my battles through life. And one of them, uh, most notably, is Pearly Gates, which is written about my brother and sister, who, when I was eight years old, passed away. You know, the last one to see both of them alive. And that's the conversation I feel I'm going to have with them in heaven someday. Wow. So, you know, those, those are the types of things. And uh, some people say, wow, you're brutally honest. But um, every time I play, that's honesty. That's my life. That's my story. That's my, my therapy. Uh, Chaz, you're currently on a label, correct? Yes, Blue Skunk Music out of Illinois. How long have you been with them? Uh, about two years. Okay. And all your material is written by yourself? Uh, mostly, yes. I do do some cover tunes, and if I do cover a tune, it's usually a pretty esoteric uh, blues tune, like on Flirt with the Blues, I covered uh, Stormin', which is an old Johnny Hooker tune, which is actually on a record, Ground the Johnny Hooker and the Groundhogs, and I actually played with the Groundhogs, a uh, British blues band, and then... Uh, I do another um, tune would be uh, No More Doggin, it's an old Roscoe Gordon tune. So those are the types of tunes. Unless something really strikes me, like the very first song I actually recorded is the only, uh, one of two studio tracks on Live from Montreal, which was from 2000, which is Sweet Little Angel, it was a BB King number, but I just love that song. So I, just, I actually covered the Buddy Guy uh, version of it, which I absolutely love, but some songs are classics. Now you've been playing, obviously you've been playing music for quite a while in your life, correct? Since uh, since I was 15 years old, but I didn't really, and then I did some cover band things, and then I had the injury in my hand, um, which I only really started performing live when I was 22, and then I had the injury, and I was performing with this thumb injury that I had, which actually, uh, after about a year and a half, I couldn't play anymore. Now we're going to get to that in a minute, that's an interesting story behind that alone, but you don't really have any formal training, so to speak, correct? Uh, I took like four months of uh, classical guitar, and, and I, I took some teach, you know, lessons with two local teachers, but it was mostly all tablature stuff, so it really wasn't... The, I actually originally taught myself how to play guitar out of the Mel Bay book, which everybody buys, you know? And that's how I first started to learn to read music, with, and uh, Roy Clark, easy books, those kind of things. Yeah.